Hello and welcome to Tantrum House Studio 3. I'm Sarah Meadows. And I'm Melissa Delp. And today we're looking at a prototype of Lovelace and Babbage from Artana. Lovelace and Babbage is a two to four player real time math programming game. It's from designer Scott Alms and it plays in about 15 to 30 minutes. Players take on the part as pioneer programmers who are completing tasks for the patrons of the day. It's coming to Kickstarter this October. Let's take a look at it. To set up the game, place the timer and order tokens near the board. Each player selects a character and receives the corresponding subroutine cards program pad, and a pencil. The engine component tokens and patron cards are shuffled and stacked near the board and you are ready to begin. Each player chooses a subroutine card to attempt to complete during the round. The rest may be placed in view to help plan for later rounds. A certain number of patron cards are flipped and the round immediately begins. Programmers must complete a mathematical operation that hopefully equals the number that a patron is looking for by writing down the program level, B in this example, rack number, 2, and the operation type, addition. The equation is answered, and that number becomes the new starting point for the next operation. Players race to complete the five possible operations for their program that round. The first to finish grabs the timer and flips it, leaving just 60 seconds for the others to finish and grab a token. For each operation, players will resolve in the order they finish the round. If you achieved a patron, you may choose one of the rewards. Once both rewards are taken, any player achieving that patron must mark it as a failed experiment. The round resets with players activating the powers on one completed subroutine card, choosing a new subroutine card to attempt, and placing the engine components on the program level. After four rounds, points are tallied and the player to program the most successful engine wins. So something I enjoy about Lovelace and Babbage is that it's not only just a strategy game, it's also very educational. And as a homeschool mom, I really appreciate that um, we have resources that we can pull out and play with our, our kids. Um, I like the math portion of it. Um, most of it is just um, adding and subtracting. There's a little bit of multiplication and division. So even some younger players can play this one. Um, and if you need to build some math skills, this is a great one to pull out to do that. I also like that it has historical characters. Artana does that with a lot of their games. And this one actually focuses on a woman that is in math and science. So I really appreciate that. Ada Lovelace, along with Charles Babbage, really are the original computer programmers. Yeah, and if math's not your thing, um, a big portion of this game is the set collection part. Um, you can't just go and do the easiest operations that are out there. You need to plan and strategize. Um, the number 50 may come up and it may be easy to get to that number, but everybody else may be doing that too. And if you're the last one, you won't get any resource um, icons from that patron. So you need to be careful and plan as to which patrons you're going to go for and so that you can hopefully get the icons that you need. Right, because that would be me. I'm the one who's the slowest at math, so I'm always going to be the last one done. So I need to strategize of how I can make this game work for me, even if I'm picking things last. So going for those harder operations or those more obscure patrons that are a little harder to get to. And, and it still works. I can still mm -hmm. compete in the game, even if I'm not like lightning fast with my math. Yeah, and even if you make mistakes, it's okay. You're allowed to debug a couple times in the game. Um, there is a small penalty, but I didn't feel like it hurt anybody too much overall in the ending scores. I think the replayability of the game is good. There are lots of cards, so those patron cards are gonna come out differently each time. The operation, the gears that you put onto the board in the later rounds, there are lots of them, so those are gonna be different every single time. And then each character, their subroutines have different numbers on them. 
maybe even some different powers, so it's almost like variable player powers. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed the illustration style. It's got very nice art. Um, the components are good quality. And then the way that the um, pad is laid out for you to do your operations on through the game is laid out very nicely. It's easy to follow. It's easy to keep track of your score. And so I think overall, everything works together very nicely. So if you like games that have some math in them, maybe like Sentient, if you like real-time games, things that have a historical basis, then check out Lovelace and Babbage from Artana. And be sure to subscribe to Tantrum House. And be sure to subscribe. Yep, every time. <laughs> every time. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's try for real this time. Mm -hmm. With my hands weirdly on here. Yeah, that's okay. It's like a screen. Will you watch the screen or will you look in the camera? I always stare at the screen, but it's, it's fine. It really Programming pioneers who are trying to complete tasks for their patrons. And there was something else. Yeah, I messed up my too. <coughs> oh, it's coming to Kickstarter. <laughs> yeah. that, that's a good thing to know. <laughs>